Are you stuck on this pop-up which says charging not available, liquid has been detected in the lightning connector when you try connecting your iPhone charger into your iPhone device? Do not worry because in this video I'll help you fixing this problem and all you need to do is just watch the video till the end without skipping the video otherwise you might miss a very important step in the middle of the process. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel I help you fixing tech related issues. So if you're into tech content, simple, subscribe. In today's video I'll help you fixing this common problem on iPhone users which simply doesn't allow you to charge your iPhone device. You always get this pop up right here which is really annoying but do not worry, I'll help you fixing it. I'm glad you've made it to this video because this is something that might damage your phone if you did not fix it right now. So make sure you watch the video and follow the steps very carefully. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So this is basically how my phone looks like. I've got this message in here which says charging not available. Obviously this is not my phone. This is just a picture that I'm using to showcase how this problem looks like on your iPhone. I've got an iPhone 7 Plus in here, but do not worry because this works on any iPhone model. Whether you've got an iPhone X, 11, 12, 13, 5, 6, it works on any iPhone model. So pretty much in here, when you get this message, you have basically two options. One is the emergency override and the other one is the dismiss option right here. So before we even get started, I wanted to explain to you guys what does this pop-up actually mean and why does it appear on your phone, okay? So basically, this is a safety measure from Apple's side, which is something that I really like and appreciate from Apple's side. This is a message that only pops up when you have liquid inside your charging port, okay? So accidentally, your phone might have got a bit of water or any other liquid inside your charging port, and all you need to do is follow the steps that I'll be showing to you in this video. So the recommendation in here is to follow the steps that I'll be showing to you, but if you have have an emergency situation and you need to charge your phone right away because you need to use it you can tap on emergency override and your phone might start charging but that's not recommended because that might damage your phone so in order to prevent you need to fix the issue by following the steps that i'll be showing to you in this video so basically in order to fix the problem you need to tap on dismiss this is going to remove the pop-up from your iphone and then the next thing you need to do is basically turn off your phone right away so in order to turn off your phone all you need to do is just hold and press the power button here on the right side of your phone okay and then slide to power off if you have an iphone up to iphone 7. now if your iphone model is above iphone 7 for example if you have an iphone 8 10 or 11 or 12 or 13 or any other iPhone model above iPhone 7 in order to turn off your iPhone you need to hold the volume down button along with the power button so you need to press these two buttons continuously for a few seconds until you get the slide to power off button once you get that message just simply slide to power off your iPhone device once this is done the second thing you're gonna need in order to fix the problem that you've got is a hair dryer right here you'll turn on the hair dryer and then you're gonna put the speed of the hair dryer to minimum okay make sure that it's on minimum and all you need to do first is basically dry your charging port with a hair dryer for five minutes okay do not pass five minutes do it up to five minutes only this is the movement that you need to perform keep doing this with your hair dryer in order to dry your charging port you need to keep on moving the hair dryer in circles here on the charging port in the last minute dry your phone in this position like this upwards okay from down to upwards so that all moisture and everything can actually slide out of your charging port immediately going downwards okay so you need to perform these for max five minutes as i've just told you right now once you're done drying your phone do get an object just to support your phone and make sure that you keep your phone in this position right here in the vertical position so that all liquid and moisture can actually slide down from your iphone so you need to keep your iphone in this position for 10 more minutes okay so this is a process that will take you in total 15 minutes the first five minutes 
is the process of drying your phone with the hair dryer and the next 10 minutes is basically just leaving your phone on this position so that all the liquid or moisture can actually slide from your iPhone downwards. This is a very important step because also your phone temperature gets back to its normal temperature. It's very important not to turn off your phone before this 15 minutes pass because your phone might be very hot right now and it's not the ideal moment to turn on your phone right now. So just keep it in this position for 10 more minutes so that your phone can get back to its normal temperature and then you'll be able to turn on your phone normally. So once 10 minutes have passed, you're gonna hold the power button on the right side of your phone right here in order to turn on your phone. Once you see the Apple logo, you're gonna release the power button and wait for your phone to boot up. Once your phone boots up, you're gonna try charging your phone by connecting the charger into your iPhone and see if it starts charging, okay? If it charges, you've just fixed your problem, but if it still doesn't charge, do not worry, we're moving into the next step. On the next step, you basically need to perform a hard restart on your iPhone. In order to perform a hard restart on any iPhone model up to iPhone 7 Plus, is basically by just holding the volume down button along with the home button right here. So you need to press both of these two buttons continuously until you see the Apple logo on your screen. So once you see the Apple logo on your screen, here we go, you're gonna release the buttons and then let your phone turn on automatically, okay? So this is basically how you perform a hard restart. Now, if you have any iPhone model above iPhone 7 Plus, if you have an iPhone 8, 10, 11, 12, or 13, all you need to do is rapidly tap on volume up and then volume down and then press and hold the power button. This is how it goes up down and then press and hold the power button until you see the apple logo on your screen obviously this won't show the apple logo because this is an iphone 7 plus so this is how you perform the hard restart on an iphone model above iphone 7 plus now if this doesn't fix the problem that you've got we're moving into the next step so on the last step basically you need to replace your charging adapter or socket so basically try connecting the same cable into a different charging connector and if it doesn't work simply try replacing the usb cable as well try connecting a different usb cable into a different charging socket and see if it works if none of these all steps help you fixing the problem that you've got there might be chances that you might be having a hardware issue on your iphone there might be a problem with your charging connector or board right here so you might need to take it to a service center in order for them to double check if all your components are working properly but before moving into the apple service center i would first recommend you guys to take 10 minutes of yours to watch my next video which is this one that helps you fixing your iphone if it doesn't charge so if all steps in that video don't help you fixing the problem that you've got then you might be having a hardware issue and i would recommend you guys to approach a repair shop or an apple service center so this was it for today guys thank you so much for watching this video and if this video really helped you do like the video leave a comment down below in the comment section and do subscribe to the channel so you stay updated every time i upload a brand new video my name is Shaq, and i'll see you in the next one peace